William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to the mesh creation tools included in the Pushing Points Hatchet collection. The SubD text tool creates SubD text based on user input. Several options for text type are available. The Make Active Tube tool allows you to select existing verts and create a tube primitive that is still live and editable. The Instance to Verts tool is designed to create instances of the desired item at the location of selected verts. To use this tool, make sure that only the item you want to use to create the instances is visible, select some verts, and run the tool. Center Rivet is designed to place an instance of a mesh in the center of the selected polygons. To use this tool, select the mesh item and make sure that all other items are not visible in the scene. Select polys where you want the instances to be created and run the tool. Edge Rivet is designed to place instances of a mesh along the edges of the selected polygons. To use this tool, select the mesh item and make sure all other items are not visible in the scene. Select polys where you want instances to be created and run the tool. Choose the distance you want the instances to be from the edges and click OK. Frame it is designed to create border geometry around the selected polygons. Mold it is designed to create border geometry inside the selected polygons. Window frame it is designed to create border geometry around the selection of a recessed area. All of these tools have an alternate version that will remove the back facing polygons from the frames. Quick Arc is designed to create a 180 degree arc between two selected polygon islands with user defined segment count. There's an alternate version of the tool with a predefined segment count of 8. Assign these tools to shortcut keys or use the mesh creation pie menu to speed up the process.